the mindset that so many people have is they train with people this size. And they have a fighting mode where a person grabs or whatever, he grabs you somehow. And you can make techniques. You're right. I can take Jack down. I can hurt Jack. But the problem is, even if you did this, even if you did this, your mind focus went on this man when somebody else is on you. You never in the street have the right to think that you're fighting one person. And this is what I see constantly. Or um, if a person has a knife, the mindset is he's got it in his back pocket or what, you don't see it. Your mindset has to be this person's caring. This person's assaulting you. This person is assaulting you. He is going to carry a backup. We're talking about the street. Maybe he's got some other friends with knives. So if I grab this man here, and he grabbed me here, and I came in with something here, and I'm trying to get something, you're going to be eating a knife. You're going to be eating a knife. You'll never see it, but it's there. This is the street. This is the street. Any time that it takes a second or two, and you're involving your hands, you're going to be eating a blade. You're going to be eating a blade because I've tied up both my hands. I've lost control of this person. Or I'll be eating another person's fist from the outside. And that is the mindset of what tactical survival is. Never going to the ground. Never focusing, never focusing on one person. This is the mindset that you must have. In the tactical survival mode, again, your mindset is this. You feel sorry for the other person. You have no respect for that person? Absolutely none. If you respect a weapon, you always hear people say that, respect the weapons, respect the knife or the gun, respect his power. If you respect that power or weapon in any way, you're going to be the one waiting for the attack to get to you. Let me explain how it works. Jack? Many people that train as a, in a, a fighting situation, uh, for, some, for example, Jack grabs me by the arm or whatever, You'll see doing different techniques, causing pain, or maybe trying a throw or, or technique to take downs or whatever, working with someone, focusing on that person. Now, so many magazines and video stuff has people my size, and I can make these techniques work. But in the real world, thank you, Jack, Bob. Quick announcement. I've got some ultra brutal fight any moves that I am not allowed to share with you here. They're ugly, vicious, lethal moves. They're also surprisingly simple to learn. Outside the US Special Forces, not a lot of guys know these, but when it hits the fan and your life is on the line and you need something truly nasty to end the fight in a couple of seconds, you're gonna wanna know this stuff. It's brutal hand-to-hand -hand training that's yours for free. Just get to the description below and click on the link. Okay, back to our video. When you run into something bigger and stronger, this is Bob, 250 pounds, if I tried the same techniques with him, of course, he would do severe damage to you. And this is the different mindset here, is, is not using anything that is going to get me killed. Because in the real world, this is what you have to be able to defend yourself. And this is very important. Survival is used into two different things, understanding the legal consequences that you can use, but staying alive. Number one, as we look at a, a, a fighting situation or a survival situation, this man grabbed me here. I am not dealing with one person, never thinking that I'm dealing with one person. My mindset is that there's another person somewhere else, maybe two or three, and that he has a weapon, and that his friends out there have a weapon. If I think any differently than that, then I'm not in a street mind. I am not saying don't ever give up your martial art training or your judo training or whatever that you're doing. Keep that training because this will only enhance your ability to defend yourself. In this program, as you watch, there will be no kicks. The reason, of course, I cannot hurt this man with a kick. I'm a very good kicker. That would not work. There would be no punches because if I punch a man this big, he's going to punch me right back. Absolutely not going to happen. You're not going to see any throws. Again, I can throw Jack, but I am not going to throw this man. I cannot throw a big man. There are not going to be any elbows. There's not going to be elbows in there. Because again, I'm fighting his strength and power. I don't want that. You will never see me fight his strength and power. Because I just don't have enough power to stop this man. There are never going to be any ground fighting. You want to stay off the ground. So many people try to take people to the ground. That will never happen. 
when you heard me say on the tape and stuff, whatever the, whatever the situation is, if he's talking to you and you decide you're going to go, it's very hard to talk and to defend at the same time. If a guy's telling you what he's going to do, just go now because he's too busy telling you what he's going to do to you. His guard's down. His guard's down. He's telling you what he's going to do to you. Really, you're into him. One of the more difficult things, when, you, when I am talking back, you'll hear me talk back on the tape saying, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. But you've got to practice not pausing as you go forward. So if you're saying, please don't hurt me, please, you're moving already as you're speaking. His mindset is, I've got this person, but you're already moving on this guy, on this man. So his mind is going, I have him, but you really don't have him. Again, that's a mindset. You're on this person, and he doesn't feel it, and he doesn't think it. That's so important. As you watch some of the techniques we use, we use a special technique that most of you have never seen before. It's a light feather touch. It's a two-fingered grasp, and it's a body mechanical uh, way to control someone. Let me borrow a jack so we can use his arm. Anything that we do, anything that we do, and this is part of physics, is we'll use two fingers. The hand is relaxed. It's used here. This is where the strength is, not here. If he feels this, his body is awake. Here he's locked. I've actually literally blocked him. He doesn't know it. He tries to move. He's caught. A lot of strength is here because, again, you're using your lats and your arms here. Whether it's a choke, and you're going to hear me talk about sticking and body mechanics again, your body must stick to the body to make one fused element. So when you see the fingers come up here, this is where the strength is. Relax this hand so we can put this in here. Relaxed. This is where the strength is. If, if you grab here and wrap your hand around like everyone else, then you've decreased your strength dynamically. You, you're going to lose a lot of your strength. This will make you almost twice as strong. But the benefit of this, you'll see it in all the te techniques that we use, is that he doesn't know he's been caught. Very supple here. Very supple. As we start to look at some of the uh, knife techniques, you'll see why we do this. He doesn't know he's been blocked. He doesn't know he's been blocked. Very important. Always going to the most leverage that you can get here. Fingers are up. And I want you to take this and try it. Also, whether he has a knife or whatever uh, against his, the arm here so you can understand how this works. And you need to see this. And don't, don't use a knife like this, whatever. Is when someone presses against you, first of all, you want to grab here and see what that feels like as he pushes. You can't hold him. Put your hands here. Very relaxed. He starts to push. Of course, you have all the strength in the world. He's pushing against you here. Two fingers is used for everything that we do. Every motion, every grab, you're going to see that in fighting coming up, is that we use two fingers for everything. Never grasping super hard. It's body mechanics. It's body mechanics. So as he pushes, you're holding. Take this in your studio. Have a person push against you by grabbing the arm. Grab their arm and push against you. The reason for this is the elbow's up. You have no control. Fingers are down here. Now when he pushes, absolutely, you have all that strength. And by pushing very hard, it gives me the ability to have this hand relaxed to attack this man. If I have to use strength here, very difficult to come back and attack. So that's what you're going to see in the tapes coming up. The relaxation, the relaxation is very soft. You will notice through all tactical things that we do, whether it's fighting or knives or guns, we never hit. We never hit. It's always here. He does not know he's caught. Take these techniques and try them. You can use any hand, but along is with the two fingers. Do not ever grab. Do not ever grab. And this is what makes the program work. Play with it, try it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, don't forget about those deadly hand-to-hand -hand moves. This training is yours for free from the link in the description. I honestly don't know how long I'll be allowed to give this stuff away here as it's pretty over-the-top stuff. So get to the description right away. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.